How's it going everyone, Javiti here with a community spotlight for the Mobius Plaza or really I guess it's the Aquatopia hub that that's kind of reminiscent of the Mobius Plaza or the old Aquatopia hub from early access. But we're on the Portal Seeker Gravitas Tay hub at the moment for basically kind of uh, directional instructions. So if you're familiar with the Portal Seeker network, you can follow the main loop until you get to Gravitas Tay. Then we're going to head right over to Ultima Guild HQ and should be just right over here. We have the Aqua Embassy hub on Beckon and there is the Dark Tower. There's kind of the, the clock shop square over there. And yeah, so let's just kind of head on through here. <laughs> so yeah, we've got the Aquatopia Embassy Hub, Portal, Mall, Hunting, Museum, and Art. So they got all sorts of cool stuff over here. If you're familiar with the Mobius Plaza or the Aquatopia Hub in Early Access, this is basically the same thing, just bigger, more refined, and but it's always been about connecting interesting places rather than just trying to connect all of the planets together. So this is going to be more of a hub of cool places and things to see and do rather than actually navigating the entire universe. But uh, we turn around here, you can see that they've redone the big huge sign here. Uh, very nicely done. Uh, very stylized theme. The color palette's pretty nice. I mean, you've got the, these kind of nice pastels of uh, purple and kind of bluish gray. Looks pretty nicely together. So here's somebody was waving at me. I guess they already took off. Maybe they're over there. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it's like the first time I know it's like, wait a second, these trees are made out of stone, yet it somehow works. So. Uh, I don't think I ever would have quite thought to make a tree out of stone, especially refined stone. But as you can see, each tree kind of doubles as a spot for portals. So this side appears to be mostly for shops. And let's see here, where is it? Yeah, there's also this new request dimension, which is supposed to be like a shopping plaza of nothing but request baskets. It's There's still not very many set up. It's very new. Uh, but that's something to keep an eye on. But it looks like we got a little bit of everything. We got Jeweler, uh, Power Coil, Stardew HQ, plus Epic Hub, uh, Lyrica, Coal Fuel Metal Shop, Castle Black. So you got Castle Black, that's on the Portal Seeker Batulia Hub. So if you're familiar with the Portal Seeker Batulia Hub, this is another way to get here. And yeah, it should be just right below me uh, will be my personal portal somewhere. <laughs> uh, hop back over here. There, ooh, the Omni Shop. Let's see here. Iosa Syndicate. Let's see here, is this the same like Jiosa Shopping Mall? Maybe. It might be the town parts of it. Let's see here. Yeah, Jaisa Mall City, so I'm not really sure where this is in relation to all of the shops, but uh, somewhere around in there. Let's check out the Omni Shop. He was one of the dominant shops in Early Access. I kind of ran it as more or less a community service. He basically bought and sold pretty much everything in the entire game. Uh, <laughs> But that uh, doesn't look like... I think he's kind of been taking a break or maybe just hasn't been run, really running his shop, so... But, uh, so yeah, that's kind of the shop section. There's more down below. List bling. It just goes out to the back. Thornwood. Ifland. Aaron's discount. Ooh, this was a really nice shop. Looks like it's changed a lot. Hear that? Oh, maybe I'm thinking of Poffs. Oh, very nice. Let's head back over here. Oculus Lab? <laughs> that sounds interesting. Take a peek in here. Ooh, some nice chiseling going on. I guess I uh, have to kind of watch out for the crystal bumping your head on it. <laughs> okay, very nice. Let's 
head back over here. And oh, and then it's like, yeah, the, the more I've already kind of taken a look around here. Oh, this leads over to what used to be Black Lies, kind of been rebranded to Duskmoor, but that's on Fiminorum. Uh, oh, yeah, the request dimension uh, Sanguine Raven. Very nice. The Floating City. Let's check out. Okay. On Rack says this. Oh yeah, I think I've seen this from. Uh, oh well, no, that's the water. I think that's water over there. Yeah. Huh. Well, there is a floating road. So. <laughs> this here. Oh no, did I? Where? Legendville player portals. Uh oh. This is what I get for not. Oh, there we go. There's Aqua Yeah. Sorry to say. <laughs> So easy to get lost in uh, new portal hubs. Let's see here. Witches Brew Illuminati. Or Lumen. Yeah. Illuminati. <laughs> As in they've been naughty. Let's see here. Mom and Pops. So over here, this is kind of like the museum section. So uh, we have like kind of the, the Oldie Moldies uh, Museum of kind of older players. Or not really old players, but players that have been playing Boundless a very long time. And uh, Builders Faction, kind of like a portal to an entire section dedicated to art and interactive builds. And DBX Shop Hub, I'm not overly familiar with that, but I wanted to show off some of these museums first. So I'm not sure what this is going to be. It looks like it's just kind of storage for the time being. This has been a work in progress for a while now. But uh, over here we have all of the different types of doors. Certainly not all the different colors, but just the style. So we have our wood door, so plain, stylish, and ornate. So if you're kind of curious, like, what is this door going to look like? You can at least get an idea of the, the style, basically. Here's a whole bunch of kind of plain gleam doors. Uh, the colors are kind of mixed together. So you got yellow, some sort of red, and stale so cerulean or something like that uh oh yeah exactly stale cerulean. i can't even say that word apparently but uh so yeah i got the the names the colors all that up above so very nice and over here we have essentially the same thing for all of the poles and beams so if you're kind of curious what that stone stylish beam is going to look like you can come over here and preview it. Usually these would be kind of going horizontal, but certainly you can make each one go um, the opposite of what it would typically do. And here we go. Here's all of the poles. I have to say, I think I kind of like the plain gleam pole better, but uh, certainly as like accents, I don't know. I kind of like the ones that they flow together nicely. And these ones are a little segmented for my taste. The same thing with all the other materials. And then there's even some kind of interesting ideas of how to use these. So you almost have like a signpost slash lamp post. And these are actually quite clever. I was like, how did they do that? And what they did is they have the stylish stone beams connecting into a stylish pole. So normally these would, you know, the beams would be going horizontal while the pole would be going up, but there's nothing stopping you from making both vertical uh, to make these pretty cool little kind of lamp post light fixtures. So, very nicely done. Let's see here. Two Illuminati. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess this heads over to the Illuminati. Okay, so let's, uh, oh yeah, there's a museum for special stuff, and this is kind of most of the seasonal things. We have like the Halloween corner, spooky seeds, jack-o'-lantern, skull lights, very nice. Finished off with some dark glass, and over here we have a mixture of, uh, uh the, and over here we have some of the Ortmus stuff. And something I never really realized is that this one is actually frowning. And his nose almost seems a little crooked. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. 
he's a sad snowman and then the love struck stuff over here so we got the the heart shaped rocks the bouquets curiously there doesn't seem to be any bouquets uh, vases for some reason but we got the heart balloons right there so very nice and I guess we're also missing maybe the red candy canes over here. I don't see them unless... Yeah, it's just with the one green candy cane. Oh, very nice. And come over here. There's some really interesting kind of portal frames going on up here. That lead to a variety of different places. And particularly this one, Sasquashville, <laughs> just the portal frame for this is pretty interesting, I have to say. Also have Burning Man, Big Slide, and Ang Angband, something like that, the Mighty Castle. I think this was actually made by, was it Ankelagan or something like that? He's one of my patrons. Let's see here, is he? Yeah, Ankelagan. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm probably butchering it, but it's a castle of pretty impressive scale. This is built completely by one person. Uh, so very impressive just on the scale alone. And there's something over... I think it's over here. It's pretty darn interesting. It almost reminds me of like the Eye of Sauron or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> but it almost like it almost was like it would be lava kind of trickling down the side here. That's pretty awesome. Complete with a uh, yeah a ball of corruption up there. So very nice. And uh, took me a little bit to figure out what this is, but if you kind of look more at this angle, you can see it's a, a dragon. So I don't know if it's supposed to be like a dragon skeleton because of the wings, or if it's just a work in progress. So, quite nice. And let's see. Oh yeah, this is where the portal is. Let's see here. Lysia. Okay. Let's take a look over here. Oh yeah, let's t check out uh, Historic Balance. So this is, let's see here, Welcome to Historic Balance Interview Gallery. So I actually need to fill out, I have that about halfway filled out, so eventually I'll actually be up here as well. But uh, we have Law Rise over here, Stretchius, Kriegel, uh, I always want to say like Krivnar, but Kiv, I'm not really sure how to pronounce his name. Uh, Karakindu, which Karakindu is... Let's see here. Yeah, okay, Karakindu is Chiseltown. Hashmalash. And there's some more on the back here for expansion. But I don't think anybody's actually been set up back here just yet. But uh, there's... Was it 10 questions? Yeah, 10 questions... Kind of like, uh, introduce yourself, where are you from, how did you find Boundless, how many hours have you played, uh, any projects going on at the mountain, are you happy with the current game state, is there something you miss from the old universe, etc, etc. So it's kind of some interesting, maybe get some insight on some of the players that have been here for a very, very long time, like way back in early access. So, pretty cool idea. And over here we have the Inspiration Hub. This is, looks like it's still a work in progress, but just based off of this one portal, <laughs> I think it's supposed to be for very, very unique uh, builds. So it's kind of like a shop that you really, like you just kind of get lost in here and just it's so incredibly busy. Kind of, it reminds me there's a there was a portal frame in Ultima HQ City that was called the Puking Pixel, and it was kind of like this except portal frame. <laughs> but uh, pretty interesting. So can't wait to see what else pops up there. Over here we have Legendville. See, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've been here. It's pretty crazy. So this is way up in the sky. Eventually the ground will kind of load in. Eventually. But uh, pretty crazy portal network. 
all of the portal hubs on this network, if this is really the one I'm thinking it is, they're pretty interesting design. Like, there's one that's set inside of lava, basically. <laughs> it's kind of trippy because it's like you're walking and it's like, how am I not, how are my feet not burning? Uh, there's like another one that's in a really dark cave and it just kind of looks like you're floating in the middle of a dark void. And So, pretty interesting hub. We also have uh, Burning Man's Presents Burning Arcade. So we have, <laughs> we got a slide here, longest slide in the universe, Sky City view, so a little bit of everything. Let's see here, I think this is like the pinball machine. Oh, yeah, woohoo! <laughs> Let's see here, oh, oh, and I'm missing all the other stuff. So, that's pretty interesting. Over here we have the longest slide in the universe, which is kind of interesting because they could have made the top of the slide at least right here and it would have been a little bit longer, but this is pretty darn long for a slide. <laughs> and we're still sliding. And we're still sliding. <laughs> so basically it goes from max build height all the way down to Bedrock. Let's see here. Where is Bedrock? I can't even. There we go. Yeah. Mantle. <laughs> and then over here, they're kind of expanding. Apparently, I guess a lot of the beacons in this area are kind of expiring. So as areas free up around the hub, they're kind of expanding out. So this looks like it's going to be kind of a hunting info board or a hunting kind of section to the plaza. Maybe a personal build over here. And here we have an explorer's faction, so <laughs> got a little bit of everything. Lots of, uh, okay, here's an atlas of Beckon itself, is where we're at. How to atlas. Okay, looks like we have some basic instructions on how to use an atlas, if you're maybe unfamiliar with that. And Aquatopia Farm Estates. So I think this is maybe a work in progress, but maybe uh, have some information on different farms or useful locations around the universe. It also links to the, the library. And I think I've shown this off in a previous video, but it's a library of locations. So if you want to be, if you want to contribute to the library, there's some instructions right here. Basically, you'll come over here, like, if you have a cool village, you can sell a location marker to here, and then they'll catalog your village and basically sell the locations for it. It's not really designed to make money or anything, but rather act as a repository of cool locations. So there's all sorts of categories. Uh, it's like competitions, flowery, flowery estate gardens, out-of-the-box builds, mini-games, uh, informative builds, spaceships, airboats, cities, capitals, art, you know, all sorts of things. So it uh, doesn't look like a whole lot's really happened here since the last time I've shown this off, but uh, it's a pretty interesting and cool idea nonetheless. Then over here we have some additional info, so all sorts of stuff. Aquatopia Discord, YouTube guides, oh, <laughs> there I am, and uh, oh, it's missing an eye. We got Aquatopian history, so you can search up this stuff on the looks like yeah forms that play boundless. So uh, okay, yeah, that's leading you to the Aquatopian uh, forum post that you could kind of get an idea of the whole history of Aquatopia and whatnot. Let's see your Aqua Ultima Aqua Hub Embassy Hub. Read the request portal channel in the Aquatopian Discord. Okay. And, uh, let's see here. Looks like we have a section for donating Wurtstone. You can contact Mobius by using this mailbox if you want to request a portal. Uh, fix the embassy aligned your embassy beacons here now. Okay, I think since the guild system, they're trying to get the active players to align to the guild. It's also a mail room that looks like various members use for kind of trading things, so 
Yeah, got yeah, player name, so if you needed to drop off some stuff for somebody, you could uh, use these cubbies. And come up here. Okay, so we got player portals back behind here, so if you wanted a personal portal, all you'd have to do is come grab up this portal token for one coin, and then you could open up a portal directly here. Uh, here's a portal laid out for Planet Aquarius, so eventually <laughs> they'll be able to craft their own planet uh, due to their backer status, and then they'll have that as kind of like their home world for their guild slash city. I guess, I don't know, I, I think my last video I called Aquatopia a guild, but it's more of a city. So, but then again, it, there is a guild associated with the city, so I don't know. Interpret it how you will. But uh, then there's also down below, there's even kind of shop plots. And my understanding is that this uses guild factions, so you won't ever actually fully own this section, but you can basically be the controlling person of the faction and uh, set up a shop. And I think if it's set up correctly, you'd be able to collect even the footfall from it as well. I'm not sure. I'd have to kind of think on that a little bit. But uh, this kind of prevents like somebody from reserving this. Maybe they have Glean Club for like a year or something, so their beacon never burns out, and yet they stop playing the game and then the shop just sits here and does nothing uh, this way it would be reclaimable so but it uh, looks like you can come over here here's a basically a faction book for each of the shop stands uh, for each of the shop space for each of the shop spaces and you can come over here I guess request the join uh, maybe, yeah, here, request the join, and then you could kind of contact us like, hey, I wanted the, the the shop location six, and you could set up a shop, so pretty interesting idea. And also the staircase is pretty interesting as well. You kind of like come up out and jump out and... Let's see here. I think we've just about... Okay, yeah, that's the, the kind of the player interview museum. There's also a new player kind of section right here, probably for the free weekend, to kind of help out uh, new players and whatnot. So we got some basic tools, uh, revive augments, atlases, grapples, uh, some beacon type stuff, Ooh, even storage blocks. So very nice. Lots of things to kind of help out new players. Here, it looks like we have yeah PS Hub on uh, Beckon in Sanctuary in our degree two city. What? <laughs> Where does this go? Welcome to Sanctuary. Hey, oh, okay, Pokemon Ball. I was looking at it first, it's like, is that like a mushroom for Mario, or...? <laughs> okay, oh, got a star up there, shop. Okay, that's it. kind of interesting. And I think the only thing that's really left is the... Um, the art place. Where is it? Here we go. Builder's Faction. I guess that's like... I don't know, I'm not sure what that really translates into other than maybe Institute of Art or something. I'm not really sure. I have to stick that in Google Translate. But uh, I have shown off this before, but it has changed a little bit. So there's a new portal over to Guild Sanctum, which is kind of like... Think of it as like a sanctum for guilds. It's, it's an interesting kind of portal hub concept like for connecting guilds together rather than you know, planets or other type things. But we have a cool Roadrunner here. There's a Spleef Arena. They could come over here and basically place down a floor and play Spleef. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with what Spleef is, is basically two or more players uh, try to break the floor until somebody falls through the floor. And I think jumping is prohibited. I'm not entirely sure on that, but... Um, so basically you just destroy the floor until somebody falls uh, into uh, down below. 
but this is kind of an area of interactive slash art build so we have a jumping puzzle over here there's a slide and this jumping puzzle is actually pretty interesting because there's kind of a course for a little bit of everything so this one says minimum skill points and agility is three um, something about weapons for monsters in a cannon I'm not sure what they mean by that uh, but this one requires the jump distance epic. You don't need any agility. And this one actually requires like everything. Jump distance epic, air jump epic. Uh, you don't need any agility for that one. And this one you simply don't need anything. So since I do have the jump epic, it's kind of ridiculously easy, but it's designed for somebody that doesn't have any jumping skills whatsoever. And once you get up to the top, you can slide through one of the slides. Pretty interesting. They're a bit on the short side, but some of them can be particularly technical, like the one that requires only the jump epic. It's like I've done it, but I haven't figured out how to do it reliably. So <laughs> uh, it kind of depends a little bit on the pull-up mechanic. But heading over here, this is the Guild Sanctum. My understanding of what this is supposed to be is kind of like a hub that connects guilds together. So we have the pure <laughs> Trojan Hopper. It doesn't actually have a portal connecting, but still pretty interesting. You can actually climb up inside this guy. Very nice. Got some lovely chiseling going on in here. I love these, um, these pillars here. It's very nicely done. And this is a section that's available for, I guess, a guild to come in and build kind of an art piece. So over here, there's, I think it's like Root Guild or something like that. Let's see what just pops up. Yeah, Root Unnamed Settlement. And heads over kind of like a, a tree naturey area. Got a really nice guild crest there. Kind of this giant tree <laughs> type build. Pretty interesting spot. But got these cool kind of like mosaic fountain type things. Yeah. That one looks a little bit more like water. Some of these are like, like, what or is that supposed to be? It's going every which direction, but still very nice. And then over here is kind of more cubbies for other, you know, I guess guilds to come in and build and do whatnot, so. And there's, you can actually get up in there. There's a little bit of maybe kind of the Easter egg up there. It's pretty interesting. And again, just look as, I don't know, very nicely chiseled. Okay, well, I think that wraps this video up quite nicely. It's kind of hard to try to show everything because part of what makes this hub special is all the places it connects to. And you could literally spend hours upon hours exploring all of the locations that this hub actually connects together. So uh, kind of a bit of a challenge to show off, but uh, Certainly be keeping an eye on this. It is a work in progress and yeah, it's only going to get better from here. But anyway, this was Javita. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more like this. And if there's anything you didn't like, please let me know down below. Also, if you like my channel, want to get cool perks, check out my Patreon page. Until next time, peace.